What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today is a special day. Um, I've been waiting on this for such a long time and I just, I couldn't wait. I was supposed to wait till next week to, to install this, but I couldn't wait. I was just super hyped. Today is actually not as hot as it's been lately here in Bakersfield. It's been like 103, 105 almost every day so, so today is actually pretty good on the weather um i'm not sure how hot it is right now but i got off work at 2 p.m so it's around like 2 30 right now i just wanted to get straight to it i've just been super hyped so as you can tell by the title of this video today we are going to be installing a i don't know if it's modulo or modulo or modulo i don't know modelo but modulo front and rear corner lip kit. It's from Turbo 10 Civic. I will link that Instagram down below in the description because they only sell through Instagram. So yeah, you have to like PayPal them and stuff, which can be kind of like sketchy if you guys, you know, don't trust it. Um, at first I was really skeptical, but I asked around and made sure that it was uh, credible or whatever, that it was, that it was legit. And uh, it's also a really big um, 10th Gen Civic page. So if you guys don't know about Turbo 10 Civic, I will link their Instagram down below. You can check them out. They have a ton of stuff for all of the 10th Gens. I'm talking sedans, um, the coupes, uh, hatchbacks, Type Rs, everything. Yeah, I got the Modulo front and rear corner lip kit and uh, I already installed one side of the front and the rear just to kind of um, have an idea of what you know how to install it for the video so I will show you guys once I show you guys what the lip kit looks like but basically it looks like this so this is the front piece of uh, the lip kit it is the front left corner um, of the front bumper and as you guys can tell the color is identical at first when I opened the box, I was like, dude, this low key looks pretty dark, but it's actually the same exact color. Um, so yeah, this is the front piece. I will show you guys what it looks like on the car. Um, and, and this is the rear corner lip piece. Um, yeah. The back looks a lot more complex, uh, has a lot more detail on it, but it looks super dope when it's on. All right guys, so like I said, I installed one side of the front and one side of the rear, and I am just going to show you what it will look like at the end. So as you can see, fitment is pretty spot on. Um, you do have to basically like self tap. Um, right here on the inside um, and one under so definitely be prepared to do that if you guys ever purchase this uh, this kit all right guys so this is the rear corner lip kit um, I really really love how the rear looks it just makes the car stand out that much more and it's just so dope i know my car is dirty right now <laughs> what is that? um but once my car is cleaned up it's gonna look so dope i've been waiting for this kit for the longest um just so i can put the kit on and then take the car to get detailed and possibly ceramic coated um because this car still has really beautiful paint and I want to make sure the beautiful paint stays beautiful. So yeah, I've been waiting forever for these. I waited about two months for them to come in. And uh, I'm so glad that they're finally in. Now I get to slap them on and hopefully get my car detailed soon. All right guys, so one thing you're gonna notice when you do order this is that it doesn't have any holes for you to screw it or mount it on. Um, it just has 3M tape right here. Um, and that's it but it does come with like eight self tapping screws um, but I would want to use more than just two on each of these so I definitely got myself 
more self-tapping screws, um, I would just recommend it. On the other side, I only used two screws um, because I was using what it came with, but I'm definitely gonna add more just for that extra support. Um, but yeah, so it doesn't come with holes. I got a drill bit right here and I'm just gonna drill two holes right here and two holes somewhere in the bottom um, to, to get this thing, you know, to stay in place. Um, it's plastic, so it'll drill straight through super easily. Um, this is honestly a really simple install. Uh, you can't mess it up. I, I promise you, you cannot mess it up. And if you do mess it up, there's something wrong. <laughs> Another thing I got is this blue painter's tape. Um, basically what I use this for is I put this on here and I use the masking tape to uh, hold it in place so that I can screw everything on and it'll stay in place and you know, just to keep it in place so I don't have to have my hand on it and try to get the screws on or anything. It just makes life so much easier. So definitely get yourself some painter's tape for this. One thing I recommend you guys to try and do is to uh, peel off every end of the double-sided 3M tape, um, just about like one or two inches, and peel it over the, the, the piece itself so that when you have it mounted on, you can pull the strip out from top without you know moving this. This is already gonna be in place. You just pull the strips out and then you just put pressure on it and it'll it'll stick a lot easier without you having to pull everything off and try to nail it in place because if you don't put it right in place uh, it's gonna be hard for you to detach it and try to adjust it and then you're just gonna mess up the adhesive so um, yeah that's definitely a tip that I have for you guys um, if you guys have used this double-sided 3M tape, you know that it is not the easiest thing to peel off or to remove a part. All right guys, as you can see, I have peeled off every corner of the double-sided 3M tape. So when I put this on, all these pieces are gonna be sticking out and I'm gonna be able to pull them right off and stick it right in place. So uh, yeah, let's start putting these things on. So now that I got this side screwed in, uh, it's gonna stay in place for the most part. But this side, I really want to get nice and, you know, against this. So I'm gonna have to do some support from the bottom, drill a hole under there. Like I said, I have a lot more self-tappers, so I'm probably gonna do two under and two on the side. But for now, I'm just gonna do one right here and one down there like I did on the other side. Because basically, that's all it needs. But just for that extra support, I definitely wanna put more. Honestly, I'm probably gonna swap these out for some black ones eventually. Um, but for right now, since I am totally impatient and I just want this on the car already, I'm just gonna stick with these silver ones. All right, now that I have a drill from the bottom as well, I can take off this tape. And now it is ready for me to peel off all of the double-sided 3M tape. So I'm just gonna grab it from right here, just like that. Pull it all out. One thing you don't wanna do is be pressing it as you're pulling it out, because then it's gonna get hard to pull out from the other side. So, see like now it's hard right here. Press it a little too much, so I'm gonna have to try to pull back a little bit. And then I'll be able to pull it out. Same thing over here right here as well. Alright, I'm gonna start pressing it down over here. You're gonna wanna try and hold it down for at least a minute. Um, maybe not hold it down, but rub it down. Basically, you can't really just hold it in place like that. But, just 
giving it a little bit of TLC will uh, definitely do the job. All right guys, so that is it for the rear uh, piece. Everything is on. I, you know, gave it some TLC as much as I could. And honestly, it looks great. Um, I love that, it, you know, it goes with the body line uh, really good. It does give you a slight little gap because of the double-sided 3M tape. But I have seen some people do um, the black trim outer trim or red or whatever and it doesn't look bad honestly I'm debating whether I should go that route or not but for right now I'm just gonna leave it as is I actually like it like this um, it just looks nice and clean but um, in the future I might might just uh, you know do the outline just to fill in this gap right here um, it's a you know tiny little gap that it gives you but for the most part it's not going nowhere and it still looks amazing I love it all right now we're moving on to the front um, it's basically you know the same thing as the as the rears you know you just kind of put it in place and then uh, you know tape it so it can stay in place uh, drill some holes I did two holes on the other one uh, for the fronts and one hole down here it has a little indent right here so one hole right there and that should be fine oh I believe I did another one right here too so yeah that should be good All right, so now I have the holes all drilled out right here and one right here. So yeah, I used four screws on the other front side as well, um, just because it has you know more points. So yeah, another thing that really helped me out a lot was jacking up my car uh, so that it's easier to go under the bumper to uh, screw on the lip. All right guys, so I got the lip taped on um, in place. Now I'm just gonna start to uh, get this here. I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's a lot easier to start it off with the drill. But then uh, continue it with uh, a Phillips head screwdriver because um, it gets kind of hard at this angle with the tire here. Obviously, if you aren't impatient like I am, um, you should definitely take off the wheel and uh, everything will just come out a lot easier and straighter uh, because one of the screws came out a little crooked back there. But like I said, I'm gonna be putting new hardware eventually because um, I'd rather go with the black hardware. And, um, and when I do that, I'll definitely take off the wheels and I'll mount it on and it'll just look a lot cleaner. Scratch that, I don't know why I uh, was gonna take off the wheel when I could just turn it and now I have full easy access so so boom now time to get to business everything is definitely easier the second time around because you know you just you just know you just know how it goes down so now the screws are definitely straight and uh, yeah it looks so much better wow but for the rears uh, if you want to get it perfect and not all crooked you definitely have to take the wheels off because yeah you know no one really steers with uh, the rears all right guys now that i have it drilled both on the sides and on the bottom uh, it is ready to get the 3m tape uh, peeled off Hey guys, so that is the front. Everything is all on and it looks perfect. It definitely matches with the other side as well. Um, 
and yeah like I said this was a super easy install let me give you another good look at the rear man that is super clean um, obviously the car needs to just be you know washed as a whole and uh, then you know go for a little photo shoot or something but for the most part I really dig this all right if you guys enjoyed this install please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed right now make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell up on top to get notifications every time I upload a new video as you guys can already see I am NOT slowing down on this build I have done a lot of stuff already and I don't plan on slowing down anytime soon maybe just a little bit um some fun little facts uh i am moving out from this apartment and the new apartment that i am getting with my girlfriend is uh not going to have a garage which is gonna be a little funny because obviously the channel name is fonzie's garage um but i'm not gonna have a garage anymore so i am most likely just gonna be making my videos at my brother-in-law's shop um, and you know, hopefully you guys will be seeing more of him as well. He has a really dope build going on with a Miata and a um, Classic buggy he's gonna do a time attack buggy. So, you know, maybe I'll convince him to show some stuff on the channel and uh, You know, maybe you guys can go check his stuff out as well But for the most part, I uh, don't plan on slowing down on this build too much uh, Maybe not as expensive stuff anymore um, for a minute just because you know moving out is a big step in life and uh, I just started working again and my time is gonna be a little busy also I haven't been working on music a lot because of work and because of my living situation I used to have a studio back at my parents house and now I don't so at my new apartment I am going to be building my studio again so I'm gonna be working on music a lot more than usual so instead of a video every week i might have to do it every other week or something i'm gonna try my best to stay consistent of course but for the most part i just felt like i needed to let you guys know that i am probably not going to be posting a video every week but for the most part i just want to thank you guys so much for uh giving me you know all this support i know my uh muffler video got a ton of views and it's so it's so cool you know because i just you know it, it's it's a great feeling knowing that there's people out there that really dig what i did with my mufflers i know it was creative and i knew it was gonna you know catch people's attention because not a lot of people do this um so yeah i just want to thank you guys for uh giving me this support it means a lot and um i don't plan on stopping this build anytime soon um you know there's there's a ton of plans that i have for the future but right now all i can tell you is that you know I am moving, I'm not going to have this garage anymore, I will be recording at the shop or maybe in my parking lot over there um, at my new apartments, you know, just for small stuff because I do have small stuff that I'm going to be doing to the car, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you on the next video.